live wire for a business agent to get somebody in. And uh, body B project, we contacted the lawyer, and the lawyer sent a letter on requesting our participation in the ZBA hearing, a study by us on the grounds that uh, we are not a town board. And we're a private board, and we don't come under the blanket endorsement that you give them everything. And the boundary, the boundary issue is at a, is at a standstill pending to hear from the survey. But we haven't had any put the cable up, we haven't had any problem. And that's all we've got. Any, any questions? Oh. And the water keeps flowing. <laughs> well, we hope it does. Yep. <laughs> we were down to uh, we were down to one pump on the second the second storm. I think I mentioned this at the last meeting. We were down to one pump on the second storm because the emergency generators was a power failure in the complex. The emergency generator did not go on automatically in the building, and the signal didn't come up to this panel up here to notify somebody. So we were down to one pump. And we are looking at, we're going to have to buy a generator, at least one standby generator, put it on automatic when the pumps go down. Frank, we've been talking to Kevin, I talked to Kevin the other day about, we, we got the, um, we're scouring surplus right now, we may be able to get you something quickly in the Durham so you can buy some time. So if we can get you like a 60 or 80K surplus and you just have to have it installed. Three, three phase. Yeah, three phase. Um, and then if we do end up terminating the use of the fire station, that also we looked at um, three. I think I mentioned we, we took we talked, went out with Kevin and Peter the other day. We went over and it's the same size panel with the transfer switches for the current station. So that could be a possible usage for if we terminate usage of that building, utilizing the emergency generator for um, backup for one of the wells. So it's a possibility if we go that route. Yeah, if we decide. If we decide that, I'm just saying. I just want to make sure I, before I before I said it, it would be adequate if we could use it. I want to make sure it was adequate for them to use. Um, so between that and surplus, we may be able to um, get you going with a minimal of expense. You know, just you know, repurpose it. yeah, repurpose it, and then like I said, if we get a surplus deal, you pour the pad, just have an electrician wire it in with an auto start switch. So yeah. we, we could cut two thirds of the the, uh, the project cost down for you at the beginning, and then you know you'd have time buy some time capital wise to to uh, to increase. <laughs> That's all I got. Can I uh, ask Bruce to a question? Certainly. That happens to be one of my areas of expertise is <laughs> emergency generators. Why didn't it come on? Power failure, a general power failure throughout the whole complex. Right. right. Where everybody lost the light. Right. I guess the power was cut off here at the computer where the, where the automatic, I guess it's got an automatic start and it didn't work that's what and i want to know hasn't been maintained okay well the, you, you should be having not only how to run your business but those automatic generators should be exercised once a week automatically automatically and if they're not then somebody's sold you a bag of snakes mm -hmm. well i guess some of them didn't some of them didn't run at all i uh, should check them once a week. my neighbor that's when it comes on one o'clock every Saturday afternoon. Yeah, so, it's actually the it's all that, automatic yeah. if you do it right. That must be the time. I get my son-in-law's the same, same time one o'clock. Yep. Right. Yeah. No, it was just it, one of them things. Is just uh, poor Kevin's got so much to do to catch up with mm -hmm. what hasn't been done. Um, the um, uh, another one was a propane. When one of the generators was replaced, it was replaced with a liquid propane line, uh -huh. and it was supposed to be a vapor. Uh -huh. And uh, when, they, when we had it, when we had it, we, we were researching new propane source. Quite a bit cheaper to get a municipal rate on it. Uh -huh. And they came down and inspected the propane tanks, and that's that's what he found. He found a, a minor leak in one tank. And he found the wrong liquid line. 
from another tank. And, uh, I'm just going to raise that propane, right? Excuse me? They're all gener you're all propane. They don't yeah, have diesel fuel out on a wheel field. Yeah. 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 And those generators are pretty, I guess they're, they've been neglected. Oh. We'll never from That's why we're all doing capital. Because I know I see South Shore. That's why we're working on this one. Uh, I think this, once we get everything where it needs to be, we'll be able to keep up with everything and everything we've done on a regular basis. Well, we won't be going through this again. Kevin, Kevin's, a, Kevin's a live wire. He's setting up a, uh, he was setting up to do another well, rehab another well for next year's budget, and now he's moving the money to the generator uh, to get, get what we've got, right. keep it running. Right. So I like it. Any other? Okay. Clerk Treasurer's report, which may include health insurance, retirement, or financial targets. <coughs> um, did you get a chance to review the credit card policy? Yes, I did. Okay. Thank you. 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 Also, okay. yeah, I was going to make a motion to the credit card. Yeah, credit card policy. I had the opportunity to review it. I made a motion with it. I made a motion that we accept the uh, credit card policy as written. I'll second it. Okay. We have a motion and a second. How about discussion? Any discussion? No, I think the policy was uh, laid out rather well and it defined. All of the expectations and needs. Did you have a chance to see it, Chief? Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. 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 Motion and second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Two zero zero. Happy well, so had a chance to review the credit card policy and what's required for that record speech. That would be the fault also. Yeah. And you made the correction from uh, the 10 cent per coffee to 5 cents, am I correct? That would be the only change that. Change it from 10 to 5 cents per coffee. Um, I make the motion that we accept the uh, Public, rec public records fee schedule as presented. A motion and a second. Any discussion? Any hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Three zero zero. Also, um, need a vote if you're going to fund OPEP for FY 2019. We've reduced that down to 50,000. 50, so I would need a motion for FY19 to move from free cash 50,000 to all cash. Make a motion that we move um, 50,000 from free cash to replace the new account. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to take $50,000 to free cash and move it into the OPEC account for 2019. Any yeah. discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Three zero zero. And I just wanted to say, what's the balance for that? Uh, eight hundred twenty-five thousand. So we're, we're way ahead of we're most. Way ahead of everybody else. Absolutely. Yeah, we're way ahead of the curve by doing this. There's a lot of people I've spoken to. No, no we haven't even started. We're not going to get hit on. It was just an hard one of the face downs. Uh, Mary, were they? I was reading something. Were they looking at um, potentially uh, penalizing people that weren't funding? I was it's reading an article that they were coming down to the fact they may stay be looking at penalizing people that aren't funding. So the fact that you guys are having a curve on that. And things like grants and things like that. Yeah, would, 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 would negatively impact that in your credit rating. If you're, if you're yeah. been prudent and you're putting money into OPEC, you're going to get a better rating, a rank on, on the grade. And borrowing will be yeah. impacted. From There's no question, because it's a liability that's hanging over your head. Anytime you address a liability, it, it, it's a good thing. That's why we did 
last is we need a fee schedule on the chief bar. Yep. Yeah. I didn't realize she was charged the dumpster fees. Yeah, sure for everything. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah? yeah. Somebody called yesterday. Well, we don't let them know yet. We need a fee. We, we, from the two years ago when we first discussed the issue. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We've got Mary's does. policy as far as the, once we would trust the issue of payment, how it will be done. And that is my only concern. I don't want to touch any sure. capital. Yeah, I have Lewis and yeah, no, I saw the policy, so yeah. we're good. I'm good with the policy as written, so we can proceed on that. And I'll present you with the updated fee schedule. Okay. Okay. Now, is that something we should advertise ahead of time? I would say for July. Take effect July if you want to do July 1, that would be adequate. And, you know, now is the time to advertise yep, that. Absolutely. It doesn't come as a big surprise to the realtors and home builders and everyone else that we're charging X, Y, and Z. I mean, that's something we should give them, a, give them a, as much lead time as possible. Uh, we don't want to be come off as heavy handed and tell them the day before that we're starting to charge tomorrow. That's, that's kind of tough. Okay, that's anything it. else, Mary? That's it. Right, any questions for Mary? All right, uh, items not reasonably anticipated by the chair 48 hours in advance of this meeting. Yes, I would like to go into oh, yes. executive session regarding a health issue of an employee. Yes, that was your request. That's yes. the reason that that was put on the, the agenda. Uh, uh, yeah. You guys want to, okay, we'll wait till, you want to wait? And then for okay, what? Why don't we do this? So we're not we're not gonna go we're gonna go into executive session, but we're not gonna come back into a regular session. So, so we, we, the re, the reason for the you, you, you can't go into just little three thirty post it. I wasn't sure how long this meeting was gonna take. So if it's posted for three thirty, then we're gonna have to we can close this meeting and then we'll have to, I just have a question for you. Sure. Okay. Joe, do you anticipate a regular schedule for the fire station yeah. starting in April? Yes. And two weeks in April? Right. That'll be April? probably... Um, They'll be busy again? That'll be the latter part of April because you're going to get the proposals, so <coughs> the 18th, so I'm going to probably say from the 18th on and I'll provide you that schedule. And is the subcommittee... The same subcommittee that chose the, the top three to interview for, like the, the OPM and the the responsibility, are they going to be the same? Will it be the same subcommittee? That'd be up to them. It would be up to us. My question is: Is the subcommittee going to interview? Um, I think. I think you. It it would. I mean, you could have whoever you want in, in the interview process. So as long as we, as long as we set preliminary questions that are consistent with each of the interviews. I guess the decision, yeah. No, I know the decision of the French committee people who they measured the hire. I just wasn't sure if it was the same process, the same screening process as we the, set up the, the fire station building. Yeah. So it's similar. That's something we'll similar. discuss and they'll vote on who we're going to put on that committee. So but, uh, the, uh, the first Tuesday right. in April, right. April right. Tuesday. Why have a motion to adjourn? Okay. Motion to adjourn the regular meeting, right? Yes. And then we're going to have a half hour, half hour before we meet the next thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be for 3.30. I make a motion that we adjourn at 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 5. 259. Right, second? I'll second that at 259. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I make a motion we adjourn the fire station building committee at 259. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Just for clarification for folks that I saw I saw things talking about discipline. This this executive session is not about discipline. It never was. To do with the health of an employee, so uh, uh, it has nothing to do with discipline. Although the Prenzel Committee does get involved in discipline, because if anyone, if there is a procedure of disciplinary action, and if an employee, after the chief, if, if it gets to the chief and he reprimands them, and they want to 
and they appeal that, it goes to the Transit Committee who makes the decision. So that's that's the chain of command and how how uh, discipline is handled. The chief is strictly in charge, the engineers are in charge of discipline, but should someone appeal their decision, it would come to us. It would be the next person in the progression. But this is not the case that we're talking about today. We're just talking about the health of us. And because of HIPAA regulations, it can't be discussed in open in an open session. So, but not, nothing secretive here. I, mean, uh, <laughs> I just want to say, I'm happy to see people attending our meetings. Oh, I am too. We wanted for a long period of time. I hope it continues. And as I said before, if the times are inconvenient and people would like to see them change, please yeah. make the request. The more people that come to meetings the better it is for the district because then everybody knows what's going on. There are no secrets of this, this, um, with this committee. And all we've got, first and foremost, consideration are the citizens of the district. So, again, thank you. I just, I'm excited. We've been trying to do this for a long time. We've been here people to come. I'm speaking for me. I'm happy to see you. Please continue to come. I'll, I'll echo what we're saying. Exactly. It's, yeah. exactly. it's, it's nice, nice to see people looking for Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. We tried, we tried changing our meeting times here. We tried seven o'clock at night, and no one came. So we said, well, you know, it's kind of silly. If no one's going to come, we might as well make it convenient for the committee, and that's why the four o'clock meetings took place. But